Hi, it's Carl here, and I've just returned from uh, viewing Harry Potter and the Cursed Child at the Palace Theatre in London, and I thought I would give uh, my impressions of it. Um, first of all, I have to say, I am a huge fan of the work of J.K. Rowling. The seven Harry Potter books were, were, were really very, very important to me. I mean, I, I, I treasured them, you know, as many adults did. Um, and in many ways, reading them changed my life. Um, for quite some time, I had an idea myself for a children's series, and I think reading the Harry Potter books, it gave me the inspiration um, and the impetus, if you like, to go off and, and write that series, which, which I have done eventually. So I went to see Harry Potter and the Cursed Child with an open mind, um, and truly, really wanting to, to find the magic again. You know, that magic that, that we all, or many people, felt when they read those seven books. And I suppose the question here is, is did I? And sadly, the answer is, no, I didn't. Um, let's start with the positives. I mean, this is a spectacular show. The costume, the sets, that they're, they're remarkable. Um... Sometimes you're watching visual effects done on the stage that you, you ju well you just don't have any idea how those those effects are created, and uh, all credit to the designers involved in all of that. You know I, I am in awe of their talent. It, it was truly fantastic, and the cast the cast of the show was 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 mostly you know very very good. Um, you, you can clearly see that this was a, a very talented company. Um, with with some some real uh, you know some quality performers in there. My issue with this show is that it's the story. It, it does not feel like the eighth Harry Potter story, which is what it's um, promoted as being. You know, I mean, it's. It's written by, or the story is supposedly is written by J.K. Rowling. I think Jack Tiffany, John Tiffany, sorry, and Jack Thorne. Um, and the actual play itself is written by Jack Thorne. But, you know, you he was stepping into some some huge shoes trying to, to, to write uh, dialogue as sharply as J.K. Rowling can do. And in the main, I'm, I'm sorry to say it didn't work. But but even more than that, it, it felt that the story felt contrived, um, the plot felt uh, it was forced. Um, many of the the narrative devices used were were weakly, really weakly put together, and you know, as somebody who is interested in in um, manipulating time. Uh, I, there's there's very little I can say in in some ways because of the the issue of spoilers and I don't want to put any spoilers in this video, but as somebody who's interested in time, hence the time hunters, um, I, I don't think it's too spoilery for for me to say that that an element of the story is to do with time travel. Um, we've seen it before in 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 the work of J.K. Rowling. It was there in Prisoner of Azkaban, and I hold that up as perhaps the best Harry Potter book that there is. Certainly for me it's either Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban or Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. You know, it, it, it's one of the two. They're both exceptional, uh, exceptional pieces of work. 
and again for me there's only perhaps Charlie and the Chocolate Factory that surpasses them in, in quality but that's purely subjective you know I love all three of those books Charlie Azkaban and Goblet and and so so the idea of, of, of time travel being used it's already been used in Harry Potter so so okay fair enough but in many ways it's the dominant tool for telling the story and I'm not convinced that's it was right it didn't feel right it didn't feel an organic way of telling a Harry Potter story and you could argue well it was the way to tell this story personally I'm not sure this is the story that should have been told now again it's all subjective and other people will be watching this thinking I, I adored it I loved it and that's great you know and I'm really I'm genuinely pleased that that you did this is purely my opinion so in short, there's there's many things I, I suppose to value or enjoy about the show. You know, the, the set design is spectacular, the, the visual effects are incredible. But personally, I didn't feel that the story was coherent. I didn't feel, the I, th I felt some of the, the humour was forced. Um, I, I felt that some of the, the narrative problems were too easily um, rectified. Uh, which is which is a case of really bad bad plotting, um, and the, there are too many flaws within those things for me to have really connected with the show. So yeah, I'm sad to say that I'm uh, a, a little bit disappointed and saddened by by what I saw, but you know I do encourage everyone to to go and see it um, if if you're interested in Harry Potter. It's certainly uh, you know, these things are subjective and, and, and you may well find it, a, you know, a, a wonderful production and I truly hope that you do. Um, all I can do is give, give my opinion on it. And um, if it's any consolation, Alice, my eight-year-old uh, daughter, she felt it was about a, a five or six out of ten. She, she likes to rate everything out of ten. Uh, she thought it was a five or six out of ten, which you know is is okay, isn't it? So um, that's that's my opinion on it. Thanks for watching this, and uh, take care. And here's Albert to say goodbye. Bye. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. See you again soon.